welcome to year four and welcome to dandelion class. I'm Mrs Russell and I'm Miss Napier and we're here just doing a little video to tell you a bit about ourselves. Um, so first of all I'm going to tell you a little bit about things I like doing at home and things that I've been particularly doing in the last few weeks as well. Um, I love baking, I love baking with my little boy Thomas, we've been making chocolate brownies, um, some cakes, some flapjacks, all sorts of things. Um, I really like doing arts and crafts, so I've been doing some painting, and this is a painting of my giraffes that I've uh, done recently. Um, crocheting, I've been crocheting some baby packs for newborns recently in our family, um, and doing some sewing. Um, I'm particularly proud of my sewing recently, good um, achievement. Um, and in our garden, we've been working really, really hard um, to change our garden and grow some vegetables. I wonder if you've been growing vegetables at home too. We've got all sorts of lettuce and broccoli and sweet corn growing. Um, I thought I'd share with you my favourite props. I really like Charlie Chocolate Factory. It's really interesting because you can visualise all the mouth-watering sweets. And that's one of the books that we do in year four. I love Harry Potter, both listening to it on audiobooks and reading them. All the magic and imagining and doing the magic. I think I'd like to be invisible if I could do magic. And Stick of the Dump. Now I don't know about you, but I love finding out about how you can make things out of recycled things. And Stick of the Dump does that really, really well. Miss Napier, what about you? I've got some different things. I do enjoy all of the things you do, Mrs Russell, but I've got some different things to share with you. Um, one of my favourite things to do is partly travel, but actually it's just looking at maps. I could sit for hours just looking through an atlas, exploring the world. It's one of, one of the things I really love to do and imagining going on lots of journeys. Um, another thing that I love and lots of you will know about is that I love music. You probably see me playing the piano in our collective worship. You might not know that I also used to play the cello as well, and I've still got one in my cupboard at home. But I love just listening to music when I'm feeling a bit stressed. I love putting on some calm music. It really makes me feel a lot better. And the final thing I've put on here is camping, and I've not been able to go camping for months and months now, and I'm so looking forward to being able to go camping in the summer holidays. Hopefully the weather will stay nice, but I love just being outside in the fresh air. And then I've got some books too. In fact, I've got a Roald Dahl just the same as Mrs Russell, but my favourite Roald Dahl is Matilda. I remember reading it when I was little and just being completely caught up in the tale of Matilda and her horrible parents. I've got a poetry book here too. Um, it's by Michael Rosen and it's called Quip Let's Get Out of Here and it has a couple of my very favourite funny poems in there. I'm really looking forward to reading those poems to you when you're in dandelion class. And the final book is one that's not very famous. It's called The Shield Ring by an author called Rosemary Sutcliffe. And I read this when I was little. And I particularly love it because it's set in the Anglo-Saxon time, a very long time ago. And I do love reading books that are set a long, long time ago. Um, so next, I thought I'd share with you a little bit about my friends and family who I love spending time with and who I've missed lots and lots. I'm sure you've missed your friends and family too. Some of my family and friends live in Yorkshire, where I was born and where I used to live. My parents still live there now. Some of our friends and family live in Scotland, in Edinburgh, and we go to visit them when we can. Um, and part of my friends and family is St Peter's, who I spend a lot of time with and really enjoy spending time with. It's really important for me to be able to see my friends and family, and we've had to do it using our um, video messaging and sending them photos of what we've been up to recently instead. Um, one of the people that I feel is an expert in my life that I go to for lots of different things for my baking is Mary Berry. You might know Mary Berry from the TV because she is an expert teacher in all things baking. She makes baking recipes quite simple and every time I've used one it's turned out fine. So I go to her almost like a bible for all of my amazing recipes that we try out, even our Yorkshire puddings. She does some good recipes for Yorkshire puddings and different cakes. How about you? Well, I've got very similar family and friends on mine as well. They're very important to me too. And a bit like Mrs Russell, lots of my family live up in the north of England, just a different area to Mrs Russell's family in Yorkshire. Um, but I've got lots of friends on here too who I enjoy spending time with and it has been really strange not being able to see them in real life and I'm looking forward to doing that again soon. 
and I've got our St Peter's family on here and the special people, the year four team, Mrs Russell and Miss Luce and Miss Patton and Mrs Clegg and we all do really enjoy working, working together in year four, helping you learn. And I've got someone you might not have heard of for my expert, somebody who inspires me. She's a musician called Nina Simone and she wrote some amazing songs. She was a fantastic pianist and she had the most beautiful voice. But also she really inspires me because she stood up when she saw that things weren't right. And she stood up, she wrote songs about it and she said, stop, that's not OK or that's not fair. And that's why she's a really inspirational person to me. I think I'll have a look at who she is actually, I'm not sure, find out. Um, one of the things that we're going to ask you to uh, think about is, as well, is learning about um, one of the most proudest achievements you have had this year. So I've been learning to sew, I used to uh, teach myself to crochet and I've kind of cracked that a little bit now and now I've been learning to sew and use my sewing machine. So recently I've been making face masks and I've had a go at making some superhero capes, one for my little boy and for his uh, for his cousin, so that they can play together when they're allowed to play together. And also some uh, cooking aprons, one with my, for my mum with a big heart on the front, with mum for her birthday as a special treat. Um, something that I really need to sort out because I bought myself a flute and I've learnt it a little bit and then I stopped and I wish I hadn't. So next time, Next year, I think my next target is to learn to play the flute a lot better than I started. Oh, thank you, Mrs Russell. Well, something I'm really proud of this year is that when I'm not teaching, um, I go off and I teach other teachers and I help them to teach maths um, in an even better way than they already are. And I find that so much fun and really interesting. And so that's something I'm really proud of this, this year. That I've helped lots of teachers to improve their teaching of maths. Something outside of school that I really want to get better at next year is called lino printing. I mean, we've all done printing before, and this is where you carve out a picture, and then you roll some ink on it, and then you press the paper down. And I've had a go, and sometimes I've been really successful, and sometimes it absolutely hasn't worked at all. So next year I'm looking at really honing my skills, and hopefully I might have some artwork to show you when you come back to school in the autumn. Great. Um, Obviously these are things all about us and you will get to know us a lot more next year uh, when we come back in September. We are really looking forward to hearing more about you too and one of the things that we're asking you to do is fill in one of these sheets for yourself and to send it to us so that we can learn all about you. Obviously when we come back to school we'll get to know you a little bit more as well but this is a really good way for us to start. And you can either do what Mrs Russell and I have done, which is do some writing on there. So we printed it off and we did some writing. I stuck some pictures down. Or if you want to do it on the computer, you can just type and maybe add in some pictures there. But whatever way you want to do it, we're really looking forward to learning all about you and welcoming you to Dandelion Class. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a nice summer. Bye.